All right, it is Friday, June 30th, and it is the fifth day of me paper trading and kind of screwing around. And I think I've finally got a system uh, that's working pretty well. So let me show you what all this is. Uh, let's go to one that's, that doesn't have a bunch of graphs on it. I hope they all have graphs on them. <laughs> okay, so on the left screen here, on the top left, I have just my basic Ichimoku, Ichimoku and uh, RSI and drawing some, this is where I draw my graphs. <clears throat> on the right side, I have the momentum scanner, which you probably saw in the uh, 14 types of studies video, but on the bottom, I've kind of changed it up. This is a five minute, a 10 minute, and a 30 minute uh, watch on the RSI, the TTM squeeze, and the MACE-D. And what this tells me is where a stock's gonna be going and how much uh, fluctuation it's going. For example, RAD here, which uh, isn't a good pick right now, but the RSI on the five minute is 34, 20, 30 on the 10 minute, and 33 on the uh, 30 minute, which means that this stock has a ton of potential to move up in the uh, day, but I think they had uh, yeah, actually they had some bad news, so this would be a terrible stock for that, but that's, the, but you get the, the point. Um, the uh, MACD will like tell me where it's flipping before it flips, so right here. And this just gives me potential to see how high the stock can go and um, where it's at in the long term and the short term. I think too many people focus on the one minute and the five minute and they don't realize like is the stock underpriced in the long run it, or should I be shorting or should I be going long and this bottom three graphs really helped me on that um, so so far we were uh, 20 we're nine minutes out and there's two stocks that I'm watching CHFS which looks like it's gonna be jumping a lot it's uh, pretty low the RSI is 50 on the 30 minute um, 42 on the 10 and it's even low on the one or the five minute and the one minute so it's going to be going up it's going to be rising skln yeah skln is uh rising they had good news last night so we'll see what happens with them let's see what mbsr is doing it's it's not doing anything um but let me show you the graphs that i figured out these are really helping me out too uh this is a fibonacci retracement and let me just delete it and i'll show you how it works what you do is uh, you can either go off the high or the last resistance and usually I go to the last low or the last support so all you do is click and click down to wherever the last high is but it's, it's dropping now so I don't know but I can actually actually, uh, actually this is a great time to show you how it can predict stuff so I go here and I start from the reverse if I go from resistance to uh, high it should bounce like right there it should we'll see though this is I can probably get like a more accurate one if I do it from nope that, that was right so yeah from the support to the high you can get a really good indication of where a stocks gonna bounce and that's that's where we'll stock so if you're doing shorting this is fantastic then it's also great for uh, breakouts. It can tell you these, this 161% line can tell you where the stock uh, is potentially going to break through or it's gonna, that's gonna be the new resistance or the new support if it breaks through. Uh, this happened yesterday on MBRX. If I go back over here, um, if I zoom in to the, to the opening hours of MBRX, and let me just clear out the study so it's a little easier for you to understand. So it opened here and it hit a high, and then we had two bounces on a support. And as you can see, the 261, it broke through the 161, uh, which could have been a resistance, but it wasn't. And then the high of almost perfectly, almost perfectly on the 261%. So if you see it break through, you know, uh, I mean, the chances of it breaking through the 261, uh, it could, and you can make a lot of money, but... Uh, that's something you'd have to learn with experience. I've only been doing this for five days. I don't know how common that is, uh, but if it was me, I would have sold out right here. But with the Fibonacci retracements, you know that ahead of time. You know that this is probably going to be the resistance, and it was, and then this was the new support, and then it bounced off of this support almost perfectly. It kind of rebounded below, but that's because of the momentum 
uh, and then it spiked back up and uh, but as you can see here it's I got a red arrow right here and it was still it was still blue on the down tick but I would have known here that it's flipping and I need to sell out because it's not and then it tanked so combining all these things together really really helps out um, and if I go into the five minute here you can you can see the the TTM squeeze again uh, this is seeing ahead of time that mace D on the five minute is starting to converge right right this this point is right here so it's starting to come down so this is signaling that I need to sell the RSI is high uh, the IRSI is high there and I can't check my 30 minute but the mace D's flipping and the mace D's flipping here which is the exact same point so it's telling me that it's it's going down it's not going to be breaking through the uh, 261 and it did it went down um, so yeah this I, I'm finally getting a system that's uh, it's working uh, we'll just see what happens today and test it out some more I'm still waiting on uh, my fifty dollars to settle in my Robinhood account so I'm still on an instant account which is considered margin so I'm trying to switch it to a cash account that won't be till next week so no trading today just uh, analyzing oh and also let me show you my uh, pre-market scanners uh, they're pretty nice uh, let's see let's load let's load my basic one this is just uh, the movers of the day you know what's got volume 10,000 or higher 30 nothing nothing fancy there load personal um, pre-market gap down this looks for openers 4% below the previous close uh, CHSF has been one of those and rad is another but rads not one I'm looking at but here is a nice one that I've been I'm tweaking it it's not correct yet but I don't I haven't seen anybody else do this this is an RSI scanner kind of like my five minute and my 30 minute uh, charts on the bottom what it looks for is an RSI crossed below 55 percent on the 10 minute chart and above 60 on the 30 minute. And I might switch this to uh, five minutes, that's a little better. <laughs> and then you know I have the volume and the last. But what this does is it looks for stocks that are high on the long RSI, low on the short RSI, so it's gonna be coming back up so I can find dips and uh, ride out those dips and make a little bit of profit. And on top of that, it also looks for a opening increase over the last one consecutive bars on the price direction so it looks for a stock low on the RSI that has just risen up so when I when I see something pop up on my RSI cross scanner over here I know it's probably gonna be a stock that I can do something with and I can quickly look at it and see what's going on um, I probably could let me save this uh, now this isn't tweaked out yet or fixed yet I've only been messing with it for a day so I've got to fine-tune it and the problem is it only works during opening hours and then I'm usually busy like watching the stocks so it's uh, <clears throat> kind of one of those things that I just get to when I can get to it but uh, we're three minutes out let's see uh, MBRX yeah. let's see if we can flip this and uh, figure out you know let's go from the uh, high no let's go from the support to the low see and it back see again it's perfect it's crazy how accurate this uh, this is a Andrews pitchfork and what I do is I just set it from the low and then I set it from the, the first the first high and the next uh, resistance and if it's got a if you have a smooth trend like this this is a pretty clear you know upward trend so it gives me another set of uh, resistance and supports and you can see even if I delete the uh, Fibonacci retracements, I've still got the Andrews pitchfork. That, or wait, no, that's not Andrews pitchfork. What is that? Oh, that's my the resistance from way back, which is bouncing off of. Let me just delete those. But yeah, see, the Andrews pitchfork predicted the daily bounce or the morning bounce. See that? It's it rose up off the MBRX and bounced off. I actually, uh, actually, hold on, that's drawn from that so that's not accurate let's redraw it and I'll just show it to you that way uh, right there let's go from the low 
here, to here. Well, it, it predicted that one then. Um, see, it bounced off the mid, bounced off the high, bounced off the mid, 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 down. It's bouncing again. Uh, and it's not terribly accurate because these stocks are really volatile. The more volatile a stock is, the less uh, concise these things are. Uh, but let's get back to, uh, we got one minute till they open. All right, CHSF on the uptick. Let's switch these to today. CHF is going to climb. Like, uh, it's just how high is it going to go? Typically, it's got a lot of momentum, a lot of volume, so it's going to break through the 50. I'll probably bounce your alert on CHSF. Yeah, I'm watching it. MBRX doing nothing. Specs, nothing. Nothing. Who saw is going to be swinging back up? It's got a perfect cup and handle. It's got a long cup and handle. On the uh, 30 minute, you can see here, and a short cup and handle on the uh, day. Yeah, CHF is climbing hard. What I would have done is probably bought out or bought in, like right. Yeah, let's see, it's two dollars right here. Yep, it's bouncing off the 50. See, it's these Fibonacci retracements are so nice. There's no clear resistance here. There's no way you can tell. You know, you kind of have some resistance here and some resistance here. But, uh, yeah, bought in, like, right, right here, and it's going to bounce. It might consolidate. Uh, RSI is still low on the 30. RSI is low on the 10, low on the 5. Um, let me load in my Ichimoku. So, yeah, it, and the, here's the Ichimoku. It, it, all these things working together are really, really nice. It broke through the cloud. It's kind of consolidating, but now it's gone up and over here it's still blue the bulls still have control it's you know people are just scared um, people selling out because they think that it's not going to climb and it's going to climb um, there's mace d's are fine uh, ttm squeeze i can't really it's, it's too short on that but uh mace d's are flipping on the 10 minute let's switch this to the 20 minute get a little more accurate and you know I'm gonna switch this 10 minute or the 10 day customize 10 day. Let's do five day. And I'll save that. That's a lie. 10 minute five day. Yeah, the the TT and squeezes are flipping. So momentum's going up. Momentum's already flipped on the five minute. You know, people are just being pussies. Um, it's gonna, it's about to break. Let's see, there it goes. You know, it's when you, when you get all these things working correctly, it's really nice. And the RSI, what's happening is the RSI, RSI, <coughs> the RSI, is, needs to consolidate on the one minute before people are gonna buy in and it's gonna bounce. But right now, it's, uh, you know, it's clear ascending triangle from here to here. Oh, let me change. Uh, what color do I want the ascension triangles to be? Yeah, let's do that. <sighs> oh, and the uh, if you want to know how I did the color change on this uh, Fibonacci retracement, you just double click on them. And what I did is I just went from you know white to light blue to greenish. And the way I did it is just more. I, I started this one uh, white, then up. And then I think I went to the, this one, and then I crossed over, and I started going to green. And that's how I got those custom colors. Let me change this. Just to gray so you don't see it as much. So RSI, yeah, see, the RSI is consolidating. Now that it's, you know, catching up with the 5-minute RSI and the 10-minute uh, RSI, SK Lin, this is the stock that's been climbing all day. It looks like it's overextended a bit. Um, bounced off the, or we got a high here, another resistance line, bouncing between the 38 and the 23. Drops, now it's between the 38 and 23. Maces are low. 
R size low, R size low, 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 high on the, uh, so this one's kind of overpriced in the 30 minute. It's, you know, it's way overextended because it's bought in so much over the night. The 30 minute Macy's flipping. Um, yeah, this stock isn't going to be any, doing anything for a while. It does have a lot of volume, so we'll see what's going on. Let's see what, uh, let's go back to, uh, CHF. Let's see what it's doing. So yeah, it's, uh, that broke through the 50. It's got plenty of momentum. Uh, all the, uh, the short-term standards are looking good. Still low on the 30 and the 10 and the 5, so it's got plenty of room to run. Um, You know, no signals that it's going to stop anytime soon. So the people selling out here on the 50, you know, they're just people that are scared of, uh, you know, shorting out quick. You got a you get clear line right here on the resistance of the 50. So that's probably why most people sold out right there. And then uh, did we have another resistance on the, uh, the 61? Kind of. There's a little bit of resistance right there. Oh, huge, huge sellout. But it's still blue. People aren't, uh, well, might be switch, might be flipping. So you signal right there. Mace D's conversion. Yeah, it's uh, going down, but let's check the five minute RS, RSI is still low on the five. Maces are still good. TTM squeeze has just crossed, so it's, uh, it's going to fluctuate. It's going to bounce back and forth. Probably as it climbs up, but it's uh, it's way underpriced, especially compared to the uh, uh, especially for the Andrews Pitchfork, which I drew. Still plenty of volume. The Maces are flipping on the one. RSI is still super low on the uh, thirty minutes. Mace, the thirty minutes finally flipping on the Mace, and the this one's about to cross on the ten. TTM squeeze is on the climb. TTM is in the red for the 30, but that's understandable. Um, Mace is starting to converge. Maces are high. TTM's climbing on the five. So yeah, it's just gonna bounce. Uh, you'll get some red, but it should be, it'll be climbing. What I would, what you would have done is, you know, more experience you might have held out through the 50 because there's no signals that it's gonna be stopping, especially. Look, Looking at the Mace D on the one minute right here at the hot at the 50, it's fine. You know, the, the TTM squeeze just started taking off. Um, I think the RSI was kind of bouncing then, but uh, it was fine. You would have held out till right about here. The Mace, Maces are starting to go. The TTM, the TTM didn't flip. And BRX, it's trying to get through the cloud. Got some red, but. Uh, getting some momentum up, but then you got the uh, scalper alert. So the red, Mesa's converging. RSI is still all right. RSI is low on the 30 and the, uh, or the 20 and the 10. It's starting to converge and take off. So TTM's coming back up on all of them. So this one's going to be taken off soon. Let's, uh, let's do an alert. It's red. So it doesn't, everybody's buying into it, but it's not RSI is low, so this thing is just super volatile right now because it took off over the night. It's overpriced in the long run, so people people are cashing in, but we'll see what happens. Uh, this, this would not be a good stock to get into right now. Yeah, CHF is taking off again. There it goes. It's going to bounce off the 100 easy. You know, sell out right there. Clear, clearly going up on the momentum. TTM squeeze is taking off. The bulls are taking over. Mace is crossing again. Mace is crossing on 30. This thing's this thing's gonna run for a while. It's gonna be nice. People selling out at the 78. You know, consolidating like just like they did at the 50. Uh, cashing out. Same with the 61. It's, it's just people that uh, are wanting their profits and wanting to get out. Volume. Now we need to pay attention to the volume now that it's kind of starting to get into it. And still a million volume. It's good. Um, Ooh, two candle rise. Let's take this. Oh, it's the uh, SKLN. And whoa, two consecutive rises. I can't remember what my scanner is on this. I need to check it. But that's 
five dollars to five sixty or twenty percent profit. It's crossed over the uh, Ichi Cloud. This thing's gonna be running for a while. Uh, way overpriced on the uh, one minute RSI, but well, it's overpriced on all the RSIs, kind of. But you know, it'll be a quick cash grab. See where it, it's consolidating. Yeah, it's something you just have to catch right off the bat. But back to SKLN. It's red. It's gonna bounce off the one uh, percent. So if you bought it, this is a good sh you know buy-in after the short. It's gonna bounce and sell here. Quick, easy money. If it, I don't think it'll break the high. It it might, but I doubt it. It'd be just a quick. Uh, Yep, bounced off the 78. It's going to consolidate again. It's just going to bounce off all of these until it... Uh, the uh, Boilinger bands are starting to converge in the Kelters. So the momentum is dying down. It's going to... Volatility is going to go over momentum and it's going to explode out again out of the gate. RSIs are still looking good. It's still got plenty of uh, room to run. You know, whoever that, whatever happened early, late night, late in the night, that's uh, a good move. So let's see if we can see a trend. Um, does this be a cup and handle, I guess? Kind of. Shitty cup and handle. Somebody doing pottery with uh, trimmers. Oh, this is saw taking bad. Ooh. Yep, yeah, glad I only put like 10 bucks into the, uh, for that. Why, why did it tank though? It's super low RSI, you know, it's going to bounce, so, yeah, actually, is there news on USA? Unregistered equity sales, what's files, 8K, I need to know what an 8K is, what's the most security, so yeah, it looks like news, uh, last, yesterday, what's an after significant event like bankruptcy or departure of CEO, public company, oh, ooh. Yeah, that's not good. A public company journal generally must file a current report by formal day to make public disclosure. Departure of CEO. Did the CEO leave? Is there a small rise crude oil? Oh, this is an oil company. Houston Energy Rise. I'll read that later. But yeah, eight Ks aren't good for stocks. Yeah, so not a very good day, you know. Could have made some quick money in the opening. That's about it. Um, now would be the time to switch my scanners to something where uh, not looking hot. DPW. This one's looking good. It's going to run for a while. But it's above the cloud. Um, well, RSI's are low, but it's still climbing consistently. I think it's just the volume. It doesn't have doesn't have a whole lot of volume, so it's not gonna. It's not volatile. It's not going to tank. Um, you know, as as long as the volume s stays consistent, it's going to ride out a little bit. Um, let's do a no. Let's do high to low. If it breaks, it is going to hit the 160. You put a buy in like right above here somewhere. Yeah, the mace is, yeah, this thing, it's just taking a while. Um, everybody's focused on the one minute and freaking out, but if you look at all the, the five minute, the 10 minute, and the uh, 20 minute, it looks fine. Let's uh, zoom in here and look at the five minute. Uh, no, let's look at the five minute momentum. Yeah, it's fine. Five day, 10 minute, yeah, it's fine. Okay, so it looks like the momentum indicators. Scalper alert works really well on the 10 minute and the 20 minute. Yeah, it'll tell you like right then. Five minute, yeah, that's nice. I'll probably leave this at the five minute just because I'm one minute, you know, it's too, too volatile, too quick. If you're trying to ride this out long term, this is definitely uh, a five minute thing. 
the, the cloud doesn't look like, look good at all for the Ichi. It's uh, what's nice about the cloud is it tells you this since this is red and it's below the cloud and the cheeky uh, Chico lines below this, it's gonna consolidate here for a good while before it bounces up. Even though the RSI's look good, so you can see the mate the the cloud is telling you that the maces on the long run are not looking good. The five minute, the ten minute, and the twenty minute maces are going down and so is the momentum the the uh, bears have control of this right now even though it looks like it's bouncing up even though it looks like it's bouncing up it's not it's going to consolidate for a while and then it's going to break so i don't need to watch this right now uh let's set the uh let's set an alert skln on just above the 38 percent that's around the cloud uh we'll also We'll do one right here, just to you know, alert us. But yeah, it's not going to be doing anything for a while. This on the other hand, DPW, it's above, the cloud looks good. Well, it just broke the uh, Tekinson line. God, it's climbing high. It's going to bounce off the one dollar. There, it's going to consolidate. It, it looks fine though on the five minute momentum. Um, RSIs are high though. I doesn't have much potential to go higher than one dollar right now, so that's a, d a dead. Uh, actually, do I have an alert on that? Yeah, I do. If it does, we'll see. But it's not going to be. Let's go over to the five minute or the one minute. Yeah, it's going red, but it might consolidate. It's got a descending triangle, but I think it's it's doing a triple top. It is definitely doing a triple top. Yeah, it's almost a perfect triple top. Let's uh, set an alert when it goes down because it's it's gonna go down. All the R's. What else is going on? Two candle rise, SPI. Just, whew, the thing. Ooh, let's see. And we can calculate. We can calculate how high this thing's gonna go, even though it's not a lot of candlesticks. It's not a lot of volume. What's the volume at? Yeah. Whew. do from the high to the low yep 400 percent yeah it's is it really going to climb above that it looks like it let's do it with one minute yeah wow why is this taking off that's unique successfully oh it's a chinese company uh electrical company Wow, this thing, this will be a good thing to watch tomorrow. SPI. Yeah, there's the balance. People are just trying to cash out. Uh, looks good on the cloud. A thin cloud, though. It's, it's really volatile. Uh, RSI. RSI is way too high on all of the 5, 10, and 20 minute. It's, you know, it, somehow it just took off because of the uh, news. But it, that's what happens. The news always makes stuff go crazy. Um, you know, unless you saw it and you were predicting it, it wouldn't have been a uh, good call. And I don't think there was really any way to see that. You know, as the volume goes up, people will probably it'll probably even out, and there might be a play or something. Be, might be a good short, but uh, right now there's not enough volume, and oh, that's the one. Yep, DPW is going down. It's going to break that double top. See, um, with these penny stocks, you can see the volume difference. You know, everybody cashed out here. Perfect, perfect up and down. Cashing out more here. Volume is going down. And then here, there's not enough volume, so you can't see it. It doesn't look like a triple top, but it is. You just can't see it because there's not enough volume to get it all the way down and get it all the way back up. DPW is going to be triple topping. It's going to be going down. Vol volume is dying down, so it might not. It might just stagnate and consolidate for a while. As soon as it hits the cloud, as soon as the cloud, it's already going through the Tekinson. And if you don't, if all this stuff is too much for you starting out, like all these graphs that I'm looking at, a good, a great simple one is just the Ichimoku cloud. It's complicated to learn first, but it does essentially the same thing as it looks in the past and it looks 
you know, gives you indications on the future. So like this, it running into the cloud is not good. It's, it's not, it should have, it should be breaking right here or not. It's going to be going down because it's not breaking. Um, there's not enough volume there to, to sustain the uh, rise. And it's also way overpriced on the RSI and the 10 and 20. The maces are flipping. Um, you know, the bulls have already taken over, or the bears have already taken over in the five minute. The maces are flipping on the five. Uh, maces are already down on the one, but that's uh, understandable. So, yeah, this is it's not looking good. You need to be out of DPW right now. Volume. Volume is key. Volume's not bad. Is it enough? We'll see. Um, now would not be the time to buy in, definitely. You know, you do a you do a short, 61%, maybe down to uh, 30%, you know, quick cash, or uh, buy in just above the 100%, write it out, it'll be breaking. It'll break high if it does break. SPY, let's look at it. Yeah, it's bouncing. Right, see? Uh, fractals. Fractals, man. The world's crazy. I, just, I learned something. The uh, solar system is also a Fibonacci circle. I think they're tr they're lined out the exact same, which is crazy. Um, and no, I don't I don't think anybody knows why. Like, there's no real good explanation as to why the universe is like this. It's just a constant uh, a pattern. And uh, for those that don't know, Fibonacci is uh, a number plus the last number. Like, it's one plus one, and then that equals two. 2 plus the last number, which is 1, is 3. 3 plus 2, which was the last number, 5. 5 plus 3, which is 8. 8 plus 5, so on and so forth. So it's a constantly adding number. Um, but it's really, really useful. So on this one, it would have been good to do the high and the low of uh, the first bounce of today and the low of yesterday. SKLN has a double... Uh, SKL is still going down. No, it's DBW that's triple topping. It's fizzling out. It doesn't have enough volume. Everybody's sold out of it. So, but it would it would be going down if there was more volume. Well, it's still got some room to go. Uh, the maces are just now kind of kind of flipping. Or the TTMs. SPI, it's bouncing. It's gonna it's going down. It's got way it overextended way too much. It's just taking time for it to catch up. TTMs. Well, the five minute maces and stuff are looking good, but I would not be buying into it right now. I would short it. I would definitely short. This would be a good short. Uh, right under the resistance. It's nice I don't even have to draw the resistance. I don't have to wait to figure out where the resistance is. It's, you know, the Fibonacci clearly helps out with that. DPW, is that the one that was dropping? I called that it should be shorting. Yep, there it goes. See, uh, it took a little bit. <clears throat> it didn't exactly double top or triple top. If it would have, it would have dropped, like I said. <clears throat> but it had to get into the cloud. As soon as it got in the cloud, clearly going down. Yeah, short, good short. So it looks like it's nice that I have a system that's working now. And you can you can see this happening before it happens on the five minute and then the ten minute. Um, you know the maces are converging right right inside the uh, right here right before the cloud touches is where the maces converge. Let's zoom in on that. So the TTM, the TTM notifies you beforehand. You, you can see it kind of curving over. The bulls, the bears take over. And then the maces are starting to converge. The mace crosses here right before the, and then the Ichi cloud is telling you that, yeah, you need to get the hell out. Um, let's take a look at the momentum. Same thing. Uh, you can see right before it broke, the, the TTM right here, the red dots, 
volatility is building up, something's about to happen. And based on everything that you look on, look at over here on the left, uh, you know that it's going down. So this side, the momentum scanner tells you when stuff's about to happen along with this side, but this side and the, the uh, five minute, the 10 minute and the 20 minute tell you where it's going to go, which way is it going? D. It's just, it just needs the volume. That's it. I'm going to call it, make some food for breakfast. Um, a lot of progress this week. I uh, learned a whole bunch. Didn't know anything Monday starting out. Uh, what really helped out is learning these Fibonacci retracements. And the Andrews Pitchfork helps out a little bit. I tried the Fibonacci fans, but I don't think they're too, they're not accurate enough. The, or Penny stocks are too volatile for them to be useful, I think. Um, like, let me... Let me just add one right here. Well, yeah, if you go up the high and the low, you got a clear kind of bounce right there, consolidation. Yeah, it's almost perfectly rides up that. But I find the pitchforks to be a little more useful. Another thing that helped out, <coughs> use the 5, 10, and 20 minute charts and uh, using those to predict the future along with the Ichimoku cloud to tell you if you're consolidating or if you've got a good ride. Setting up the five minute and the 10 minute and the 20 minute was really useful. And if you want to know how to, uh, it, you just go to the charts and then go to flexible grid. Hello? Yeah, we were, I friends bailed last minute. Um, yeah, so setting up, to set up the five minute, 10 minute, I think it's a customized grid right here. You can add your uh, grids how you want. Then click off, customize, and then you have your grids. Uh, it's right here at the flexible grid. Really useful. I like them a lot better than, than just the regular charts. And yeah, that's, that's about it. And then just you know, learning to pay attention to things. Bad call on who saw yesterday. If it was, it was um, going for a cup and handle because. You can see the cup and handle here on the uh, 20 day clear cup and handle and it hit it again and it was going for another short cup and handle and it would have broke but then they released their uh, 8Ks so you know got to pay attention to the news lesson learned um, that was out yesterday I don't know when when did they release that 